Sometimes the official options are just not enough to help convey the fantasy we want to play, but luckily enough the third party designer scene comes through every single time. For those seeking a different take on an arcane spellcaster that channels their magic abilities through a special arcane focus, I present to you Benjamin Huffman's Thaumaturge. Just to let y'all know, this is not a sponsored video. I reached out to Benjamin and he offered a PDF copy of the class, so my goal here is to give you my honest take, but I have to say from the get-go, this class is impressive. While the core classes seem to have the spellcasting niches down, the Thaumaturge sets itself apart by allowing you to play a spellcaster that practices occult custom using arcane foci to channel the magical energy of the planes. Each custom is the basis for the subclasses, and those options take inspiration from real-world mystic customs. Your character casts spells in similar fashion to other spellcasters, but while each spellcasting class has a class-specific spell list, the Thaumatra generates its spell list differently. Having a player choose spell schools as they progress into the class, which adds a level of customization that is new and exciting, but not overly complicated. The Thaumatra's spell school-based spell list is a defining feature for the class. For enfranchised players, it utilizes a familiar aspect of a spellcaster that is often seen as a straightforward list to limit power and bolster the flavor of the class. This class is no different, but the build a spell list feature really encourages players to define and flavor their thaumaturge. The order you choose your spell school also impacts the bonus traits you gain with the Tapestry Thread feature, which provide bonus proficiencies or an additional bonus action option. A player chooses two spell schools at first level, with one of the schools being considered the primary and the other the secondary, and chooses additional schools at third, fifth, and ninth level. As you gain access to additional spell schools, it simply does not expand their spell list. Unlike other spellcasters, when you gain access to a spell school and level into the class, you learn a set number of spells for each spell school. While this may seem to limit you as the SRD only has a handful of spells to choose from, never fear, Benjamin has included a ton of new spells for each spell school for more variety in your options. In fact, he has added 89 new spells for you to use. They range from cantrip to 10th level spells. Yes, I said 10th level. The only way to cast these 10th level spells comes from your arch mastery feature at 20th level. You learn one 10th level spell of your choice, but you can only cast it using your overcast feature with a 9th level spell slot. Without a doubt, spell casting is the centerpiece of the class. Similar to the sorcerer, the Thaumaturge can manipulate their spells with the overcasting feature. Unlike the metamagic feature where you have various options to choose from to alter your spells, Overcasting provides two simple but highly effective options. The first option is High Cast, which increases the power of a Thaumaturge spell you cast that expends a spell slot by making it account as a spell level higher than the spell level it was casted at. Chain Cast is the other, which is a variation of the Sorcerer's Twin Cast, which has you expend a spell slot above first level in order to cast two different first level Thaumaturge spells. Other than the different take to generate a spell list in the Overcast feature, the Thaumaturge does not have any other mechanic heavy class traits. It's actually pretty light with later class features being just direct upgrades to the class. Subclasses take up the mechanic mechanical weight of the class, and just like the Sorcerer and Warlock, you start off with your subclass at first level. Each subclass receives features at first, sixth, and eighteenth levels. As mentioned prior, each subclass is inspired by real-world mystic customs that revolve around the use of an item, and thematically, all receive a special arcane focus to wield. Each subclass's core feature all activate when using a Thaumaturge spell, but provide flavor-driven effects that haven't been seen or have been poorly handled in official content. The first subclass is Astrology, which will have you channel your magic through a star chart, astrolabe, or telescope. It's a support-focused subclass that will have you wielding the stars to have your targets succeed or fail their attack or saving throw rolls. Next is Cardamancy, which will put a tarot deck, playing card deck, or an oracle deck into the hands of your Thaumaturge. This subclass relies on randomly generating an effect based on your die roll as if you were drawing a card from a deck, but that shouldn't scare you from trying this out as each effect you can at least triggers off a creature making an ability check or saving throw. The way Benjamin designed this mechanic is probably one of the best ways I've seen card inspired abilities handled in 5th edition as other card caster player options I've come across overload the player with too many options with situational triggers, abilities, or clunky mechanics. This is streamlined and flavorful. Chandlery has you igniting candles to light up the battlefield. This subclass is flexible allowing you to heal your allies within range of the candle or using that candle to burn your enemies that are standing around it. It's well rounded in its roles allowing a Thaumaturge to be flexible in all pillars of play. Crystalmancy has a Thaumaturge channel their magic through a crystal in order to take an offensive role that increases their survivability. You create a barrier made of crystal which pads your hit points with temp HP and allows you to use that temp HP as a resource to send crystal shards at your enemies. Onyromancy is inspired by reading dreams which will have you use items like a blanket, pillow, or stuffed animal to harness your arcane power. It is a utility and support driven subclass that will have you manifest his dreams in the area around you so you can manipulate the battlefield to enhance your allies or hinder your enemies. The last available option is Tassiography, which is my personal favorite. You'll be using ale, tea, or coffee to play a supportive role for your party that can heal or buff them when you offer them a drink. This reminds me of the official Alchemist Artificer, but unlike the option given to us by Wizards, this one is done correctly. You will never feel like you're running out of drinks to offer and will always be useful. I cannot recommend this class enough. It adds something new to 5th edition while still feeling familiar to enfranchised players. The design of the Thaumaturge is simply elegant, and I personally believe it's worth the 15 the emphasis on spellcasting seems natural and makes me think why this wasn't the case for official classes like the wizard or sorcerer where a similar design would seem to fit. This fluidity extends to subclasses as each subclass core feature is active whenever you are casting spells. Speaking of subclasses, 
they are inspired. By utilizing real world mystic customs but adding a fantasy spin to them adds another layer of familiarity. Each subclass is flavor packed and with the customizability of the spell school focused spell list it allows and encourages players to be creative without overburdening them with options. Now more than ever the third party scene needs our support. You can buy this off Benjamin Huffman's store and he gets 100% of the revenue for this. I can't recommend this class enough. I have a link for the class in the description below for you to check out for yourself. Alright I'm out of here. Have a good one.